Hey friends, so today I'm going to be talking about the Stonewall Riots and the movie that's being released based on the Stonewall Riots. Um, if you don't know, uh, there was a movie being made and it's currently just being, like, whatchamacallit, advertised right now called Stonewall. Um, I think it's just called Stonewall, but... Uh, yeah, it's based on the Stonewall Riots. It happened in 1969 in New York. If you don't know what Stone, what happened during the Stonewall Riots, uh, pretty much what happened was Stonewall Inn. Um, there was like an inn club kind of thing, and police were raiding it. And so the people at the inn were like, you know, we can't do this anymore. We're gonna fight back and if you don't know what this place was all about it was like a club for like LGBTQ plus people in New York to go to kind of thing and so these people had like stood up and been like you know what? we're not gonna take this anymore because we are people and we want rights so they stood up and they marched out to the streets and from what I understand is that the Riots happened for like six days or something like that. Um, and so, pretty much, one of the biggest problems with the Stonewall movie is that the people casted cis white men to play the to play just about every single lead role in the movie when there were trans women of color, there were trans women involved, when there were uh, people of color, especially like I said, specifically trans women of color, and it's just like, you can't cast a cis white male to play the roles of a trans woman of color. You cannot cast a cis white male to play the role of a trans woman, a white trans woman. You cannot do that. The only people that should be casted as roles in regards to trans people in my opinion is trans people especially trans women of color especially white trans women no trans person can replace the skills or not necessarily the skills but nobody can portray like what a trans woman can like show Nobody can show the emotions that a trans woman can show. Especially when it comes to, like, violence. So, you see, the thing with, like, Stonewall is that it paved the way in the United States for so much, right? And it's the fact that the Stonewall movie isn't actually, like, it's, it's literally taking history and whitewashing it. You're taking history and cis washing it. And pretty much what cis washing and white washing is, is you're taking like history and you are pretty much putting a blanket over it and you're ignoring everything like underneath. So like for example, like white washing is you're taking like white people and you're like making it as if white people are the reason why that LGBTQ plus people in the United States have what they have now. Cis washing is pretty much saying that only cis people exist in the LGBTQ plus community. You know, there's so many trans women in our world and they often get ignored. And the reason why I speak about it is because I as a trans masculine person I have so much privilege as a trans masculine person and I often am able to do these things that not many people can do or not necessarily that but like I experience a certain amount of privilege that someone else might not right and so like I want to be able to speak about it and be able to allow other people to understand that Accept your privilege and understand that 
you cannot always be the person that is like trans kind of thing I guess if that makes any sense and so pretty much I want people to understand that like you as a trans person or you as a cis person I should say have so much privilege over trans people because you are cis so anyways that's just like what's going on right now and yeah you know like I just please understand if people when people are upset about this and listen to our voices because our voices are important and yeah take care bye